Hey, we are about to play Metroid Samus Returns. I'm really excited for this, so let's see. Alright then. Hmm. Come on. Nice. Ah, uh, new files. Good god, these things are becoming a thing of the past. When did this idea of simple convenience become obsolete? In the year 20x5 of the Cosmic Calendar, a Galactic Federation research team discovered an unknown life form on planet SR388. While they were, only, while they were able to successfully obtain a living sample, the research vessel was attacked by space pirates during their vessel voyage home. I hate when that happens. This attack was no coincidence. The space pirates had set their sights on these mysterious organisms called Metroids. They planned to replicate the sample and exploit its ability to absorb the energy of any life form. Their intention was to use Metroids as a weapon, one powerful enough to conquer the entire galaxy. To combat this threat, the Galactic Federation dispatched a lone bounty hunter to infiltrate the space pirate base on the planet Zebs. Where's the Zebes? Against all odds, Samus Aran eradicated the Metroids on Zebus and defeated Mother Brain, the leader, the leader of the Space Pirates. And so their sinister plans were thwarted for a time. Oh, nice Metro! Oh, that's really nice. Samus actually has her Metroid One armor on. See Metroid Zero mission for how she got her classic armor. Concerned by these developments and by the great threat the Metroid species still pose to the galaxy. The Galactic Federation mounted another expedition to SR388. A special squadron of elite soldiers from the Galactic Federation police was dispatched to investigate. The team soon went missing, but not before transmitting but not before transmitting a small sampling of data back to headquarters, excuse me. Analysis of this data confirmed a Metroid presence within the interior of planet SR388. So long as they continued to exist, these Metroids would forever pose a devastating threat to the galaxy. The resulting decision of the Galactic Federation Council was immediate and unanimous. Samus Aran, you must exterminate the Metroids once and for all. Alright, simple, poetic, to the point. <laughs> Here we go. Looks nice. Ah, the classics. Yeah. Here we go. New Metroid, I can't believe. So happy. Oh, shit, I just I just blew some missiles. Oh, <laughs> not smart.
go. get the charge beam. The charge beam would come real handy right about now. Right, go down. Right, let's go in here. Okay. Melee counter. Okay. Missile reveal. Nice. Ah, I can't get that yet. Need the morph ball. Come on. There it is. At least I think so. Yep, more ball. Progress. Hmm. I haven't played much of Metroid 2 Return of Samus, but I probably will when I review it. I'll probably review the Metroid games a little bit closer to the Metroid Prime 4. That would be more appropriate. I mean, I got totally caught off guard by this. So there's one Metroid in this area. Ah, crack it out of there. Nice. 
All right, let's see here. Okay, there we go. That's more like it. Hmm. Ah, Metroid. Yeah, we're basically committing genocide against these things. Of course, there's always going to be a way to bring back Metroids, because how can you have Metroid without Metroids? <laughs> oh, Amiibos. That's nice. I don't have any Amiibos. I couldn't get them. Okay, I do have the Smash Brothers Amiibos, but I can't get Fusion Mode, which is kind of annoying. Progress. That's a Metroid down.
come on. the next area. Yep. Alright, but that's what we're going to call a day here. Alright, see you next time.